I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. He is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Georgia's coaching staff, they know they've got a star wide receiver. They know it's going to be a hostile environment. With that, we went to practice this week, Kirk. They had the crowd noise pumped up pretty good getting them ready for this game. Yeah, they've done everything that they can do to get this offense ready for a tough environment. They had the crowd noise all week long, making it tough to communicate for the quarterback and his receivers. Now it's here. Now it's the game. We'll see if all that preparation pays off. One thing we know for sure, they want to get the football into the hands of this receiver early and often if they want to win this game. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 24-yard line. Pass is caught. The defense lays him out. White gains about four yards there. Here comes the pressure. And he's sacked. is back awaiting the punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. The ball changes hands on the punt. Nice opening stand by the defense. Boy, the crowd is loud and did their part. Now if they're able to move the ball downfield, they can take control of this game early. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He's scrambling. He's at midfield. He's brought down in the open field. It's a great decision here by the quarterback not to force a throw when there's nothing there. The run turned out to be equally as effective as a pass play anyway. Nice run, and he's brought down. Rose comes away with five yards on the carry. They'll give it off here. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. Ready! Got a receiver, and he dropped it. Kentucky is looking to go up by three. He gets it up. No good. He missed it to the left. Well, sometimes when you see a kick like that, the kicker is trying to compensate for a factor, maybe like the wind, and he thinks he can hook it back in. It didn't happen that time. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. From their own 29-yard line, second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He's out of bounds right around the 32-yard line. Slings it. Brought down at the 46-yard line. Perfect timing here between the quarterback and the wide receiver. That's a big gain and more than enough for the first down. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. And he's finally shoved out at the 21-yard line. 
That's a game of 33 on the play. play. First, First down. down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Gains his way to the 13 yard line. That makes it second and two. And they'll run him again. And they push him out at the one-yard line. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. This play is number eight on the drive. They line up in the jumbo set. Tackle at the one. Got the corner. Touchdown, Georgia! kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a nine-play, 68-yard drive, and the result, seven points. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And he's taken down at the 17-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He scrambled. And he's taken down at the 24. That'll bring up second and two. Make the stop at the 20. Loss of four yards on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. It's third down, eight to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Throws it in a hurry. He's tackled at the 19. So the offense fails to pick up a first down. The defense decided to go conservative, sitting back in cover three. They wanted to make sure the receiver was not going to get open past the first down line on that play. Jackson will be the return man. Oh, excellent punt. He's at midfield. Tackle at the 47-yard line. Georgia's coaching staff always preaching the importance of finishing drives, and that's what they're doing right now. Well, these players are obviously listening to that because it's nice to see this offense be able to move the football and then take advantage of opportunities. Right now, they have been flawless. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. They go right, and he's tackled behind the line. Georgia is up seven. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. They'll bring him down at the 32-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Nice 
Jets run up the middle. A nice first down run there. And first down, and I'll tell you what, the defense was sold on the pass there. Here's the pitch, and now the ball is free. Picks up the fumble. They work hard, and they got the turnover. Well, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter, or blame the offenses for a lack of production. 7-0, Georgia. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set to start the second quarter. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. And he's tackled at about the 33 yard line. it to the 44. Tackle made at the 41 yard line. Tries to buy some time. And down he goes at the 36. Call the game five yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Zips it to the back. They'll drop him for a loss. That's a loss of four yards. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a nice run, but it's short of the first down. Good play by the defense to stop him just short. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. It's up, looks long enough, and he nails the long field goal. Great snap and a perfect hold, and he just had an awesome follow through. Everything went right there on that long field goal. 7-3, Georgia. Duffy is lined up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Georgia holds a four-point lead. And he throws it away. Second and ten. Ball on the 25. Goes down quickly. That's good for a game of four yards. Third down. Mike five, Mike five. He's on the run. He's taken down at about the 39 yard line. Game of 10 yards. First down. He's scrambling. Brought down at the 42. Scrambling around. And they.
they got him. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Quick throw. He catches another one. Tackle at the 42-yard line. Number 29 makes the set at the 42-yard line. Three down, three down. First down. High five, high five. Wide open receiver, and it's incomplete. Robertson's intended receiver on the play. That makes it second. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42. Georgia is up four. Caught out in the open. And he's taken down right around the 22-yard line. That's a deep 20 on the play. Watch the screen. That makes it first and 10. Watch the screen. Flies the mic. Flies the mic. Get to that quickly. And they make the stop right around the 16-yard line. That'll make it second and four. So now this offense finding themselves back in the red zone again after they gave the ball away on a fumble their last trip. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Pretty good gain on the play by the halfback. He got seven, but it looked like for a second he could have broken it for even more. Good call. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Has some daylight. Touchdown, Bulldogs. What a spectacular run by the quarterback. That is such a weapon for your offense when you have a quarterback who can do things like that. The coach probably loves drawing up plays for this guy. And he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Fields it at the two. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. He's going to try and scramble. He's tackled at the 28. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he's immediately tackled. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Mike 17. Mike 17. Blue 45. Got a man. Watch out here. He goes out of bounds. Right around the 30. That's a deep four. Hey, I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. 17's Mike. Mike 17. Run up. Pass, pass, pass. Quick strike and he drops it. So they couldn't pick up the long yardage and now they'll have to punt. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He's taken down at the 31-yard line. Pickens is having a tough first two quarters, Kirk, right now. Can't hang his head, though, because he could be very important before this game's all over. Good point. He's going to have to stay positive. This team's going to need him before this game is, is over. Uh, right now, this team has the lead. He's not played well. Do not be surprised at all. This team will make some adjustments at halftime. They'll come out shooting again in the second half. And you know he's still going to be involved. And because of his big playability, he could just be one play away 
from making a game-changing play. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Break two! Go! And he's hit before he can go anywhere. And it's caught. Easy! Easy! First down. And he just gets rid of it. From the 16-yard line, it's second down. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Throws this one away. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks up, and it is good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. That makes it second. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. We've played a half. The Bulldogs lead 17-3. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This team accomplished one great thing in the first half. They did. They got all of their internet boards a buzzing. They got social media going crazy. They got the let's fire the coach mob out there after them one more time. But I'll tell you, they put themselves in a hole, and if they don't stop digging, it's going to it's going to end badly for this team. Well, we, we talk about the motivation factor every single week. It, now you better get motivated. Now you got no choice. You spotted them a couple touchdowns. You're down by two possessions. Obviously, your attitude has to change. Coach's attitude has to change. You have to be more aggressive. But there's, there's no overlooking this squad now. It's now or never. First possession, third quarter, you either got to get a stop or you got to score some points. It's huge to start the second half. Don't let this lead get out of hand early because then you're going to be looking around going, We'll see what happened was. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 22. The Bulldogs continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's on the run. And he is drilled at the 32. That's a D10. That brings us second and one. Easy, 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 easy. He makes it to the 35 yard line. That's a D10. He shoved out of bounds around the 39-yard line. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Yeah. 
Here's an opening. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. Gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and inches. Let's go! They'll bring him down at the 48. So on first down, they go to the air and pick up huge yardage. Well, that was just a well-executed play. They picked a perfect time to stretch the defense with a passing play, and it worked. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They'll knock him down for a loss. And they'll bring him down behind the line. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. That makes it third and goal. It's the ninth play of the drive. They come out on an empty backfield. Ready? Black Knight! He flings it. Incomplete. Almost picked off. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. This one should be makeable. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. Kentucky lines up for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. And he tackles him hard at the 27. That makes it second and eight. Throws complete, he's got room to work. And he's tackled around the 44-yard line. The middle linebacker came on a blitz, which can be very disruptive. Sometimes a quarterback will get happy feet when they see that coming. But not this guy. He's very composed and can deliver under a pass rush. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Tackle made right around the 44-yard line. That's a gain of 12 on the play. First down. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. And down he goes, around the 30-yard line. Watson with the tackle at the 30-yard line. Mike five. First Mike down. Five. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. Fires that quickly to the tailback. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 24-yard line. That'll make it second and four. Gains his way to the 13-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Ball on the 13. Steps out of bounds at the six-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. tries to buy some time. They bring him down. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Third down, five yards to go. Eight yards out. And 
and he's hit immediately. That's a game seven on the way. That makes it first and goal. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. It's the 11th play of the drive. Going to the end zone, and it's coming back out. From their own 20-yard line, first down. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. They're going to pitch it, heading for the corner. Nice run there. He's to the 40, gains his way to the 43-yard line. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. That's good for gaining four yards. That makes it second and six. He fights forward to about the 40. Call it a gain of two yards. That'll bring up third and four. This is the eighth play of this drive. Three down, three down. Mike 17. Mike 17. He makes it to the 38-yard line. That was some sure tackling to make sure he didn't pick up the first down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. He gets it up, and he hooked it left. Well, sometimes when you see a kick like that, the kicker is trying to compensate for a factor, maybe like the wind, and he thinks he can hook it back in. It didn't happen that time. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Second down and 11. Ball on the 37-yard line. Don't leave yet, folks. We still got one more quarter to go. 17-6, Georgia. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. There's a strike complete. Brought down at the 36 yard line. First down. He's taken down at the 21-yard line. Game 15 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Head two, green nine. Quick throw, incomplete, bottom of his receiver. He just put a little too much air under that one. That's one of the reasons defenses like to blitz, not only to sack the quarterback, but also to force him into making bad throws. Black five, black five, and go! 
And they push him out at the 20-yard line. So they're back in the red zone where they threw a pick on their last visit. Caught and he's hit immediately. It's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. It's up, and it splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Taken down at about the 27 yard line. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. Knocked out of bounds at the 49. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. It, but he can't shake the defense. Fires out to his receiver. He's tackled at the 35 yard line. Scrambling around. He gets hit out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Tackle around the 19-yard line. Quickly back to the tight end. Here's the eighth play of the series. Just under three to go in regulation. throw to the tight end and they make the stop at about the seven yard line. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. Ball start. Offense. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. It's first down and they'll be looking for six points here. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. About a 10-yard gain that time on the completion on the slant. Well, the receiver does a nice job on his route. And how about the throw by the quarterback? Perfect execution. But when those two things are going well, the offense has a good chance of picking up big yards. They'll bring him down just outside the goal line. Touchdown, Wildcats. And he tacks on the extra point. 
So an 11 play, 80 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven on seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. So the score now, 2013. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. And he's tackled the 39-yard line. That's the kind of play calling and execution I like to see. Being one-dimensional on first down can really stack the odds against you. It's better to mix it up. Georgia is up by a touchdown. He makes it to the 42-yard line. Kentucky's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From their own 42-yard line, second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Six yards there on the option keeper. The Wildcats using their third and last timeout. Got some open field. Makes it out to about the 40. Terrific execution by the entire offense to make that run work and to get the third down conversion. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. Gets out to around the 32. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Red two, yellow three. Makes it out to about the 23. That's good for a gain of nine yards. First down. Georgia's team right now aware that they are a team. Hey, they're starting to shine today. Everybody else picked up the pace, though. I think we all came in expecting to see that star player really shine. And, and the fact that they didn't have a great game from him and still won the football game, boy, I walk away from this game as a viewer just thinking even that much more about this team than maybe what I thought prior to the football game. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.